everybody, this is the Catfish TV show review on season one. Now, if you see my Bad Girls Club videos, I usually uh, review after every single episode, but I wanted to see the entire season before I did a review. But this isn't just the review on the TV show, it's also the review on the movie. But when they first started showing teasers of the TV show, I kind of felt like a true life feeling come from it. But then MTV started showing the movie, and I was like, oh, okay, and it was like 3 in the morning once, and I was bored, had nothing to do, and I was awake, so I watched it. Now, I have to admit, it was the most creepy thing I've ever seen in my life. Not only, like, the music made it creepy, but just, like, the feel of it. Like, you see Neve, like, go through this whole process of, like, like, it was supposed to be about this little girl who was a great artist. But then it changed into something totally different. He ended up liking her older sister, which really wasn't her older sister, and the girl doesn't even exist, period. And he just goes out of his way to go see if this girl is actually who she says she is. And he gets there, and it all just comes out eventually. And you see um, the girl it ends up being is the mother the entire time. And uh, not that I'm saying anything bad about this lady, but when I found out it was her, I just, I couldn't believe it. Like, there was just something about her that just, like, was not right, unsettling. Like, I understood her story that there were certain things in her life that she wanted to achieve and accomplish, but she couldn't because she took on other responsibilities. And then there's a scene, I love this scene, by the way, where everything's already all out in the open, and uh, she's drawing him. And uh, just the conversation it is, but it's not really even a, co a full conversation. It's just kind of like, um, I don't even know the proper word for it. But he, she asks him something, and he just pretty much says, I'm ready to go home. And it just, the look on Eve's face is just, he, t he looks tired. He looks disappointed and upset and just overwhelmed about the whole situation. And just the woman alone, like, I felt bad for her. But at the same time, I'm just like, shame on you for doing that to him. That I mean, that's not fair. Nobody should go through that. But this brings in the television show. And um, I'm not going to go through every single episode as far as individual people go. I'll pick out certain ones that I'll discuss. But overall, these people that are pretending to be something that they weren't, I mean, not all of them were. Some of them were actually what they were, but they were just lying. Um, but to the people that were faking it the entire time, like, how, how could you do that? Like, I understand, like, sometimes it's just you're bullshitting, having fun, nothing serious, and then it turns into something serious. But I just don't see how they could do that to certain people and just keep going with it, going with it, going with it, and just lie flat out the entire time. I mean, it's not fair. It's not right. I mean, how do they not turn the tables on the situation? Like, how would you feel? But uh, I do have some sympathy when it comes to some of them. But there's two in particular that I have no sympathy what for whatsoever. I am, like, disappointed and disgusted in them. And that is the one girl who pretended to be the that celebrity girl from, like, uh, what was she in? Celebrity Rehab. And she did Playboy and all this other stuff. I mean, come on. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna pretend to be a celebrity, you should have picked somebody better. But the whole thing with that, I mean, it was just horrible and ugly. It was just wrong. I mean, and the fact is that she couldn't stop. Like she deactivated the page, then restarted again as soon as the cameras were gone. It's just, I mean, what's so horrible about your life that you have to act like that? And not just her. The other girl that pretended to be some guy to get revenge because she and this other girl dated the same guy. That is just wrong and ugly. And even Neve went to her and like they talked about her life, what was going on, why she did it, so on and so forth. But to me, having a hard life, being bored, is no excuse to be an ugly, pathetic individual or a bitch or an asshole. There's no excuse whatsoever. There's many other things you can do to fix your problems without having to hurt other people. But, you know what? Shit happens. This overall TV show was phenomenal. 
great. The movie was beautiful, uh, fascinating, and a little creepy. And even the TV show, same words. But uh, I definitely would suggest watching the movie. The movie is great, very poetic, very different, and very, very deep. The television show, it's refreshing to see MTV do something different. Seriously, it's like... When I, when I, after the first couple episodes, I was like, this is reality TV. This is what it's supposed to be like. And it was just so nice because there's only like, MTV's just now getting out of that crappy stage where they make these ridiculous shows like Teen Mom. I mean, even though that's not going anywhere anytime soon. But they're finally coming out with things that are different, original. And it's, again, refreshing to see that they're doing something else. So as far as the TV show goes, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Why not? You know, I mean, it's a good way to fill in your Mondays. <laughs> but uh, this isn't just the review. Uh, I am also going to be doing another video about my own catfish experience, and uh, it's a very weird one at that. So I'm going to make that video now, and I'll see you soon. Bye!